So Dale, unfortunately, the fourth defeat in a row. What's your thoughts on that one out there today? Yeah, disappointing. And, you know, I feel sorry for the lads, really, in a way, because I think like there was a lot of effort and endeavour and honesty in that performance today. Uh, particularly in the first half, I thought we... We looked, um, you know, a decent side in terms of going forward. Uh, lots of energy in terms of tie. I think, like sort of Sean and AJ in that position there, landed on the second balls and came and was uh, very lively. Um, so, you know, I thought we'd got ourselves into a, a good position, really, kicking kick up the slope with a bit of a, a, a breeze in the first half, which I genuinely thought we could probably get something out of the game. But in, look, in fairness to Ilkeston, they've defended brilliantly today as well. You know, we threw a lot of balls in the box. Keep his men a couple of really good saves at crucial times. And um, sometimes you have to give credit to the opposition. And um, that was one of them de days today. Yeah, you must have been pleased to be 0-0 at the break uh, for once you could say. And then the two goals come. Hit on a counter-attack for the first as well. Yeah, it's disappointing. But look, you know, um, testament to the lads in the first half. I thought we did really well. Um, we sort of regrouped at half-time. We, uh, you know, we knew what we needed to do. You know, put the pressure on them. You know, sort of, um, but again, they, you know, they've defended well. We've created chances second half, particularly from set pieces. I think, you know, from uh, from corners and throw the long, the long throw from Ethan. You know, I thought we looked a threat all, all day. And then, you know, obviously Connor's had that great chance where he goes through, keeper makes a great save. Um, but from one of our corners, you know, we get hit on the counter attack. And again, you know, um, it's, it's one of those. And unfortunately, it could have been dealt with, you know, sort of high up the pitch in their box, didn't deal with it. Could have been dealt with it again. We had a chance to cut it out. And then we have another chance to cut it out. So unfortunately, it's um, it's deja vu in terms of not dealing with with that threat from a counter. So unable to score a goal, a single goal that is in January. Uh, then is this a concern <clears throat> for you? Um, it, it's obviously a concern when you don't score and the position we're in. And um, let's you know let, let, let's not um, try and hide behind the fact that at the moment we're in a difficult position. Um, the positions at the bottom haven't changed. We're just lucky at the moment, and I mean this with a massive bit of respect. I think. Uh, base for the ground out a 2-2 two, a two -two result today everybody else is losing so um, for us we've still got an opportunity obviously um, with the next couple of weeks not having a game I think we'll know as a team and as a club where we are coming out the uh, the next few games spell because we don't play so I think we'll know what position we're in you know it's, it's it, we're not happy with where we are at the moment but we need to keep going and I think you know the one thing you can say today is like yeah, although we didn't score we looked a threat we looked more of a, a goal scoring threat um, I think we defended well as a unit as well. We lost shape, was good out of possession. However, this, at this stage of the season, it's not about performances, it's about results. And that has to change. You chose quite an attacking side as well out there today. Did it have the effect that you wanted then? Yeah, absolutely. Look, you know, we've created probably more chances today than we have in the last few games. That's not you know, a slight on anybody or the formation. We changed the formation slightly because, because we thought we could get AJ and Sean on the ball higher up the pitch. We went with a lot of pace and energy in the front three because we knew the pitch was going to be poor today. So, you know, we, we wanted to sort of eliminate the risk in terms of, you know, playing in our own half. You can see how they played as well. You know, they play on an absolute beautiful pitch at their place, but they played exactly the same as us in terms of, so it was a bit of an attritional game. But unfortunately, they, they're sort of a little bit cleverer about what they do than us at the moment. And that's where we are, you know. Um, and, you know, again, you know, I don't want to go overboard with it, but sometimes you've got to give the opposition credit. And bringing in Isaac Lee for his debut at the back today and also collecting man of the match, a word on how he performed. He has a young boy, he's learning the game. You know, there's some really good parts of the game today. We knew we knew what type of player he'd be. We knew where he is in terms of his development as a player and obviously where we are as a team in a club. So that gives people like Isaac the opportunity. Massive credit to the guys at um, Ratcliffe for letting him have us, letting him come to us. And um, listen, there were some good things. We are, we're aware of that. There's some other things that he needs to work on. He's aware of that. So I think it's, um, it's a good opportunity for the lad to play some, some games. Now, it has to be mentioned an unfortunate incident in the first half, which would dominate the headlines, really, involving one of their fans and Lee in the first half. Can I get your thoughts on this? I, I don't know what's going on, to be honest with you, at this stage. Um, Luke, I, I heard some, you know, sort of somebody saying, you know, there'd been uh, allegations of X, Y and Z, but... Listen, you know, I'm meant to talk about the football, you know, um, at the moment, you know, leave that to everybody else. I'm sure they've got loads of stuff to sort out, eh? But like, listen, look, you know, it's never nice to, to hear stuff like that at football matches and, and in society in general. But um, look, you know, at the moment, you know, we, we've got enough on our plate in terms of the, the, the results and um, we've got to turn it around. 
Yeah, so we have a two-week break now uh, and a chance to turn it around. What will you be doing uh, and working on over this period to prepare for Hyde? I think the most important thing we can see now is that you know some of the players need help and in terms of players coming in. It, that's obvious. It's been apparent now for a couple of weeks or so. You know, it, I always say this. It's a fantastic group of players. They're lovely people. Um, it's never their fault. People who come on, you know, and brain players, it's not, you know, they, they were signed by the football club. Um, they're asked to do a job, you know. Ultimately now, it's our responsibility as staff to bring one or two players, maybe three or four players in to um, strengthen what we've already got and the ones that are doing really well. And I'm sure in the next few weeks, you'll see a little bit of um, incomings and probably even outgoings, but that's no slight on anybody at the club. You know, everybody at this stage to, for where we are is responsible from, in one way or other, that includes myself. That includes all you know. Every, anybody who's been here, there is a responsibility that we've got. Um, now we've got responsibility to make sure for the last twelve games we're in the best place possible to try and get the best results possible to try and finish the bottom in, in uh, top of what what I would say a four-team league, and whoever finishes top of that four-team league will stay up. Hopefully, we can turn things around. Thanks for your time as always. Thank you very much, mate.